Jen Lanning, you uh, took on uh, Wisconsin Whitewater and also UC Davis last week, and lots of injuries have hit your team, but I thought your team really performed well, stepping up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, obviously, we talked before about um, the season-ending injury with Tyler Davis, who is usually always in four events for us. We also had some other people kind of get hit with the injury bug of um, Deja, who does three routines for us. She was out as well. And then just other ankles and things just – sometimes those bugs hit and they really hit all in the same week. So uh, we really talked to the team about, hey, we can still do the same routines. We've all been preparing the same all year. I always tell the team the most important spots um, in a lineup are number seven and eight, those exhibition, those alternates, um, because one, they're the ones who push the lineup to get better. And two, they're the ones to go in when somebody goes out and we should not feel an impact at all or a difference. And I was really impressed and loved exactly how they stepped up. And again, we had the same exact score that we've had without seven routines in that we've had all season. So I think that just goes to show their grit, their determination, the culture we have as a team, that we're all in it together, together as one. So I was really, really, really excited about that. And I know we can do even better. You know, it was the first week out where we were dealing with a change on every single event. And now this week when we have those same changes, we can build upon them and continue to increase our score, to continue to increase our consistency. But I agree, I was super proud of the team, probably the proudest I've been all year um, because they really came together as one. Yeah. And uh, kind of like halfway through the meet, you're through vault, you're through bars, kind of needed a boost there. And I think Heidi talked to the team, and then the beam performances were splendid. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, vault was our lowest vault score of the year. Um, I think just got a little ahead of themselves, got a little panicked about a lot of the changes. Um, bars did a pretty good job of trying to write it, but still was um, one of our lowest scores. Um, but then, yeah, Heidi, our co-captain, brought them together, fired them up, and said, you know, the meet's not over. We can do it. Like, step up. Here it is. And we worked really hard on beam last week. It kind of was up and down. So practice was a really, really um, focused on beam all four days we were in there. Um, and she was like, we've done it four days this past week. We've hit six out of six. Like, step it up. Let's go. And, yeah, lights out. It was over a 49, uh, which is incredible. And it was our first 49 of the season as a team um, on the hardest event. And, and some really good – really good performances. We had Bree, um, a 9875. Um, so she has a 9875, a 985, and a 99 in her repertoire as a freshman. And and also um, our freshman anchor, Amber Ball, she had a 99. So her first 99 score in her career. And it was exactly what we needed. And they were really excited. There was tears afterwards. There was cheering um, because we really stepped it up and said, we can do it. You know, don't count us out. And I really liked that and was really proud of our co-captain Heidi for stepping up and, and lighting that fire. Uh, now you go to Texas Women's this week, but you got to feel positive about this team, especially like we were talking about the depth and the, their ability to bounce back and step up when it's time. Yeah, absolutely. I am feeling really, really positive. You know, we still have those changes in our lineup, but again, it, it's not going to hold us back. Um, and Texas Women's will bring out a great performance in us. Um, it'll be just a dual meet, so you know it'll be bars, vault, bars, vault, back and forth the whole way. Um, they bring a great crowd and great energy from the team and the crowd. Um, so I know we're going to be looking to match that um, and be able to be on our best performance. And I'm excited to start on on bars and show um, how good we're doing there and how consistently we can hit. Have two really strong events in the end and then end with our strongest one that we just had a really confident hit on um, which is balance beam because that's where we'll end and we don't have to do anything different than we did at the home meet we just do that same home meet performance um, and we'll have a really really great outcome so I am feeling really positive um, and I'm just feeling really proud of the team right now especially mid-season it's hard but really proud of what they're doing together and that team culture and that energy which is exactly where it needs to be and it's and it's so much better than it's ever been and I'm really excited about that. All right, Jen, thanks for the time. Good luck this weekend. Thank you, and go Falcons.